So let's continue solving examples on convex or converging lenses. Suppose that an object is placed 20 centimeters from a convex lens with a focal length of 30 centimeters. Find the image distance, the magnification, and the image height assume that the object is 12 centimeters tall. So we're essentially placing our object in between our lens and the focal point. So the focal point is this point. Let's label it as point F. And this is the center of our lens. So our object is placed 20 centimeters from the center of our lens and the height of the object is 12 centimeters. So let's begin with part A. What exactly is the image distance? So how can we go about solving for the image distance? Well, we know the focal length and we know the object distance. So that means we can use the thin lens equation. 1 divided by the focal length equals 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. So let's rearrange our equation and bring the known values to the left side. So 1 divided by the focal length minus 1 divided by the object distance is equal to 1 divided by the image distance, what we're looking for. So what exactly is F? Well, F is given by 30 centimeters. DO is given to be 20 centimeters. So 1 divided by 30 centimeters minus 1 divided by 20 centimeters gives us 1 divided by the image distance. So 1 divided by the image distance is equal to approximately negative 0.0167 centimeters to the negative 1. So now, if we multiply both sides by di and we divide both sides by negative 0.0167, we get about, or actually we get exactly, negative 60 centimeters. So this is our magnitude of our distance from the center of our lens to where our object is found. The negative simply means that our image is a virtual image, which implies the rays of light do not actually pass through our image point. Now the negative sign also means that our image is found on the same side as where the light originates. So that means because the light originates on the left side, the image will also be found on the left side. So once again, the negative sign indicates the object is on the left side of the lens, the same side as where light originates, and the object is a virtual object. So light doesn't actually pass through our image point of our image. So let's move on to part B. Find the magnification M of our lens. So to find our M, we have to use the following relationship. M is equal to negative of our image distance divided by the object distance. Now we found what the image distance in part A is, and we know what the object distance is. So that means we have negative of negative 60 centimeters divided by 20 centimeters gives us positive 3.0 is our lateral magnification. And finally, in part Part C, we want to use this result obtained in Part B to find the image height. So recall that another way to calculate our magnification M is to take the ratio of HI to HO, where HI is the image height and HO is the object height. So we multiply both sides by HO and HI is equal to M multiplied by HO. M is positive 3 and HO is given to be 12 centimeters. So 3 multiplied by 12 gives us positive 36 centimeters. So the positive simply means our image is upright. And the fact that this is greater than our initial height means our image is actually magnified. So this is our image. So the image is a virtual image. It's found on the same side as the light and as the object. And it is magnified. In fact, it's three times the size of the height of our original object. So this is the object. This is our image.